bad. I'm the baddest motherfucker in the world. Oh, it's time, baby. Oh, it's time. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Fry, thank you so much for the uh, the the resub. Holy shit, 15 months. My word. Thank you so so much for the continued support. Polish, welcome in, buddy. Uh, uh yeah, to you too. Um, sorry, it's been a while. This weekend was pretty wild. Um, Rammstein Friday night. Both of you were there. Uh, don't need to say much about that. Uh, yesterday was a really busy day, but an enjoyable day. Um, and by the time I got home, it was so late, so much later than I thought it was going to be. I just said, screw it. No point in streaming. Um, so I figured we'd roll over to today. Uh, I've been very, very excited for some stuff with Jugtober that are still in the works. And we're still on track to be ready to go right on, um, honestly, probably October 1st. It's a Saturday. We'll probably start off strong. Um, uh, but yeah, there's a lot of, lot of stuff that I have planned for Jugtober, a couple of surprises. Um, but if you were here for last year's Jugtober, this year's going to blow last year out of the water, or at least that's my aim. <laughs> We'll see what happens. Uh, but as for today, while it's still September, mind you, if you're not aware of what September is, here's a little piece of information there for you. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't count for gifted subs, but rumor has it at the end of September, there's going to be, I think, a day where gift subs are actually discounted as well. Um, it's just a rumor. I am not 100% certain if that is truth or not, but here we are. Um, but yeah, so for tonight, um, I wanted to just play some deep rock, have like a chill stream. Um, I'm expecting Noxler to eventually join up. I don't know what time. I know he's playing Crash Bandicoot and having lots of fun with it. Uh, I told him whenever he wants to jump in, he's welcome to just jump on by. Um, also, if anyone else wants to just jump in, I'm in my Discord. Um, if you haven't joined the Discord, please feel free to join it, and uh, we'll get you into the into the chat to play. Unless, of course, it's someone that's already here with streamer permissions, you should be able to join regardless. Drowned, what's up, bud? Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much where we are right now. Um, uh, so for Deep Rock tonight, uh, before Nox gets in, I'm just going to continue working on the Driller rank up. Right now we're at three star bronze, level 12. Uh, Trying to get to level 25 to get another promotion. Uh, they'll get us to the one star silver, which is big. And then we got to get up to gold before I move on to probably engineer next, I would assume. Hey, old man with your funny mic. I don't have a funny mic. It's right here. What's wrong with my mic? Is it is it too quiet? I can turn it up a wee bit for you, but I don't want to get too loud. It doesn't look muff. I don't know. I don't know. I honestly don't know. A webcam mic? That thing's been disabled for a... God, well, well over a year and a half now. I don't know, something always wonky happens. For some reason, every time I shut my PC off, the mic just gets really fucking weird. Let's see. Um, how about now? How does that sound? Sometimes it's the positioning, too, because this mic only has, like, the front. It's not the top, and it's not the backs or sides. It's been since you made the adjustment for D&D. Which is weird, because I didn't do anything. <laughs> like, I had to adjust it for that. But, I mean, the only thing I can think of is it's probably something in Discord. Oh, that might be it. So if I... I bet you anything. Check this out. 
I'm going to drop out of it. I tapped the main mic. If I just do this and I drop out of Discord, does it change? I have a feeling it might have changed because of the fact I was just in the Discord uh, chat. Um, so that's my assumption is that's what changed because there are options in discord. They can suppress it. Now I'm just turned it back on. Um, nothing different. That's weird. That doesn't make any sense, but let me see what's up here. Okay. Uh, Input volume. I'm turning the input volume up. Does that do anything? So are we on a delay? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Thanks, creepy. <laughs> Automatically determine input sensitivity is enabled. It's not set to the wrong mic. I have never changed the mic setting in OBS ever. Apparently my mic sounds weird. I don't. I don't know. I'm. I'm not gonna listen to the clip now. <laughs> so changing the input volume did nothing. Let me see if I can input sensitivity. If I put this up here, does that do anything different? No. Wow. Hi, Knox. Uh, my fucking chat. You're streaming? Yes. Oh. I didn't know that. Yeah, apparently there's something wrong with my mic. Does my mic sound weird to you right now? Uh, it sounds pretty normal. Can they hear me? I didn't know you were streaming. I'm so sorry, dude. No, that's fine. I was, I was being rude to you. I mean, that's all the time, though. Literally you all the time. Pretty much. I, I I still don't understand what's wrong with my mic, but I guess I'll play this fucking clip. I just I don't understand. Might have changed because of the fact I was just in the Ugh. Discord uh, chat. It's almost like it's too loud. Like there's a noise gate on or something, but that doesn't that wouldn't do anything. But I don't have anything enabled for any of this shit. Like, I tried to a while ago. I sound normal on Nox's stream? What? You, so, you sound... I think this is what happened, Jug. Remember I told you that you sound really gainy when we were in the call the other day? I think yeah. somehow your gain got turned up because on my stream you're turned down your volume and you fixed your gain so that's why you probably sound normal so i don't know if that's something you can really do in there i the only thing i've ever touched was the input volume of the mic in discord because we were just playing through discord so like i don't i don't understand what happened like there's got to be a driver issue somewhere that i'm just not I'm not catching because every time I reset this computer, something goes on. Let's see. Where is... You sound really perfect on my stream, but I know that probably doesn't help. Update driver. Search automatically. The best drivers for your device are already installed. Well, that's fucking helpful. Thanks. What the shit? All right, let me check here. Let me try this. How about now? Because there's, I, I, cause I have voice meter banana, which kind of splits up audio. And the fader gain was at zero, zero. That's exactly the same. So this just makes it, this is just a volume thing then. That's probably not going to be fucking helpful at all. Okay. <laughs> is fucking stupid. I literally changed nothing. 
I shut the fucking thing off. I turn it on the next day and just fucking dies. Uh, let me see what else we have in case there's some type of weird um, issue with the thing here. Active. That's there. Uh, monitor off. It's on the same channels. No sync offset. I don't fucking understand. Uh, filters. See, like, I have filters on here, but none of them are working. Like, I've, I have them all disabled. Try what you said. Let me scroll up then. Disconnect the mic, remove the source, connect the mic, add the source again. Oh, basic troubleshooting. That's a good idea. Maybe I should try that. <laughs> All right. Give me one second, and we will go ahead and do this. Why is there no delete button for this? What is going on there? There it is. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I have returned. Um, test one, test two. Could you, could you, could you, could you more check? I guess since Knox is here, I'll jump over <clears throat> as he's throwing shit at me. Does anybody hear anything different at all? Seem, then, then I have no idea what's going on. Like, the, I don't have... Like, this knob does fucking nothing. Literally. Nothing. Nothing. It's supposed to be a volume knob. It doesn't even fucking do shit. It's fine like this? Alright, then I don't know what the fuck's going on with it. I need someone that's good with sound shit. Because this... I should probably just apply filters. Because it's just a piece of shit. That, yeah, that's a volume knob. That's all that does. Yeah, it, it turns the volume knob, but I have it capped out in OBS, so it doesn't matter. Like, you will never hear it unless it just goes super soft. I can't push it louder. It won't, I, it won't let me do it because I set it up that way. I, there's, there's no way I can change the bass and gain. There's no EQ. I have no filters enabled. I don't understand how much more I can really explain that. Yeah, I know it does something, but it doesn't do something for you. It is a volume knob that is shit. <laughs> like, I don't punch it. See, that's the best thing I've heard so far. I say mean things to it all the time. Behind closed doors. 
Um, Because, like, if I turn on filters, right, like noise suppression, limiter, I got some plug-in, an expander, and a compressor. Now it probably sounds like shit. Like, after shit. So I turn all this shit back off. And it's probably better. Because, like, for whatever reason, it's, it's, I think it's something to do with OBS, to be honest. Dear God, yeah, exactly. So what you just heard with all of those filters on was absolute dog shit. But if I record my voice like with a regular audio streaming, not not streaming, just audio capturing software, and just play it back as is, it's fucking mint. It's the best it's ever sounded. How did it get how did it get louder if I didn't <laughs> That again makes no sense. I enabled the limiter so that it would actually be softer and you're telling me it's louder. Thank you for the host creepy. Appreciate you. I don't know. What did that? Was that you, Joby? Yeah, so I don't know. I'm going to have to find someone Fuck you, man. <laughs> I'm going to have to find someone that is really good with uh, setting up filters and whatnot in OBS. There's got to be a way to get around this. I don't understand what happened. Uh, the only thing that I can think of is that with the D&D stream, I was really soft. I turned the input volume mic up in Discord. I have since reverted that like a week ago. And now it's every day it's something else. <laughs> Ask my wife. I don't need help with a dog or a cat, but thank you. Removing that damn Yoshi thing. <laughs> All right. Well, I've had enough wrangling with this mic. If it's if it's good enough for now, it's good enough for now, and I just deal with it later. With the a thousand other fucking things I have to do. Fucking barrels everywhere. Oh, God, yes, Daddy Juggernaut, give me the tech plant emoji. <laughs> You know, what I worked on that? Uh, not hard enough. What's up, Meanie? There's so many barrels in here. What do you mean? Maybe you should have been, you should have been taking. Oh, I guess you really couldn't have done it in the ship. But you should, you should have kicked all of them down into uh, below the ship. I think that's an achievement. Uh, I, I think I've done that one. Um, I, I can help you with audio after this because we have the same mic. Well, that's true. Are you? Do you actually have OBS filters, or do you have something else? I have uh, filters and a out of source thing, and then I import those filters into OBS. So we would get rid of all your old crappy ones, and you would be left with properties. Um, let's let's check out my filters right now. So I I have a gain, a limiter, a noise suppression, and then I have two uh, plugins from other stuff. Yeah, I have a plugin as well. Coming into OBS. Got it. All right, we'll take a look at it afterwards. It's not a huge deal for now. Yeah, and, and if we, if you don't want to look at it after stream, I don't mind doing the day tomorrow whenever you have free time to help you. So you're not. I know you got a lot of stuff going on, so. It's all good. I would much rather spend time talking stream and whatnot with you than do anything I have to do at work. <laughs> yeah, I just, I don't think me telling you while we're both streaming. Is gonna really help anything right now. <laughs> no, no, of course. No, no, I agree. What are we doing? I'm getting a beer. No, no, the quest. Stony base. Yeah, it's a salvage operation. That's yours. Oh, okay. Did, we didn't finish the the quest line we were on yesterday. Is that okay? That's that's what we're doing. Oh shit! I see that. My brain just loaded, I'm sorry. Don't throw Jesus your fucking Christ. alcohol at me. <laughs> There's no alcohol in that, I got every last drop out, trust me. To the bone. Oh, good. All right, now I can just have a chill stream. I'm like, I want to have a chill stream. Everybody. <laughs> nobody. Absolutely nobody. All of Jug Stream. 
Oh, the mic's fucking dog shit. <laughs> That's the best it sounded all stream. <laughs> to the bone. I'm sorry, you what? Has three or has two? I was uh, three. We're not doing five like last night. <laughs> I'm gonna pop all these bad boys. Go for it. Touch my tra-la-la, -la, ding ding dong. Oh, you touch my tra-la-la. -la. Oh, my ding ding dong. What's up, Satan? Oh, what in the world? Just grab it that way. Oh, yeah, don't forget, everybody. Uh, go follow our dear friend, Noxler. He's also streaming. All right, got some Bulo caps that were in here and a Malt Star. Um, it's the giant fucking hole I need to drill up there. Okay. What beard did we have by chance? Uh, the Slayer Stout. So it's the strong pickaxe stuff. This is all dirt. Jugs House of Hot Sauce. I think it's Deep Rock Galactic. Yes, correct. What's up, Disconnected? Welcome in, bud. What's up? So we'll just, I guess we'll just go up. Yeah, I can... I'll get us there. Hold on. Fuck! There we go. It's a good point. A bunch of bulos I just picked up. So, how was your day today? Me? It, yes. Well, are you streaming? I don't, I don't know what you're streaming to. I'm just peachy. Oh, if, if oh, I... If I need to talk... Yeah, it is good. If I talk to chat, I go on mute so you can't hear me. Oh, okay. Uh, my day's going wonderful, man. I'm in just a peachy freaking mood today. Peachy? What is this? <laughs> Drilling a hole. Drilling holes! Uh, oh, spitball infector. Got him. Ah! Oh shit, holy quarter, get it! Shoot this thing. Or, or, or don't. Oh, I got it. Okay, cool. There's another spitball infector? Why? I was you know what? I'm just not even gonna use my excuse. <laughs> Were you on mute the whole time? No, I was getting attacked by something else. And so then I was also trying to use a cryo grenade, but I just learned there's a cooldown on these grenades, but there wasn't on my other ones. Ah. Uh... So, like, my brain was just... What? It's <laughs> Noxler.exe has failed. Yeah. Oh shit. Alright, cool, cool, cool. I'm fixing up one of the uh one of the mini mules over here. What are you up to? I don't even know where you are. I am getting a nitra and a, I think it's a grappa or whatever it's called. And I'm right over here. I'm on the scout shit. Oh, okay. I'm doing scout shit. <laughs> That worked. All 
All right, I think I need one more lake for this thing over here. Can you help me? What? Oh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm not good. Damn it! <laughs> Did you fall and die? No, I was stuck in a corner, and I thought I was gonna be fine, but it, I couldn't get out. I was getting like literally caught. Oh. Gotcha. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get up there. <laughs> I don't know how to get. Oh my god, dude. Uh, this is gonna be interesting. Yeah, it trolled. Um, hmm. you'll see, if you ever manage to get up here, you kind of see what happens. While I was like mining, the spiders it's blocked my way, Whoops. and I went to go shoot up, and I was out of ready. ammo. Gotcha. All right, I'm gonna have to just. Drill my way into the wall and then come over to you. It's the only thing I can think of. Question is probably this way is our best bet, I think. Promise all these little assholes are going to be coming after me, too. Yep, right there. Fuck you. Alright, so I need to, uh. Fuck you. Uh, what the hell is the button for the waypoint again? I don't remember. I know I can, um, I can mark it, but that's not gonna, uh, get what I want. Although I guess you'll be on the map. That'll be good enough. Fuck it. Yeah, I can, I can't ping where I'm at. Oh, I think when I call for help, maybe it pings? Yeah, that might help. See what that is now. I'm using the terrain scanner. That should be as helpful as I as it can be. I can also see you through yeah. the, the map. I could like see you through the edge or something right now. So I could direct you. Yeah, I'm just looking to see where the ceiling is, and I think I'm high enough. Let me skip uh, the. It looks like you're actually high enough. I would start heading. Um, yeah, I'm gonna come towards you. Direction. Yep. I'm slightly yeah, above you're, zero you're degrees. Perfect. Yeah, you're perfect. I I know I am. But you don't have to tell me that. You could actually go down a little bit because you're going up with the... I know, I just didn't want to fall into nothingness. There you are. You see, see how I got trapped in this little fucking corner? Oh yeah. I appreciate you coming to save me. I didn't have a choice, but you're welcome. <laughs> I mean, you could have left me. I, I guess. That was a choice for my dad, why can't it be a choice for you? Because I'm not your fucking dad. Boots. So yeah, that the Holy Hoarder drops a bunch of like uh, gems that you like all the Jadises and all that shit. Okay. So he we killed him. I just uh, some of it fell to the ground, but I'm gonna go up there and see if there's anything else. But first, I'll mine this gold. Wait, was he all the way up there? Yeah, he went all the way up there. That's right. I remember. Made it. Okay. Okay, uh, by chance, can you look up at me and tell me where that Akrapa is or whatever it's called? The Akrapa, uh, is right there. Why am I myself? Now there's a fucking surprise. <laughs> uh, let's see, I have... Five more bulos? Wow, I need one more. And then we're done with I have, bulos. I have one bulo on me. Oh, so we're done. Okay. Yeah, we're done. Alright, well I just found the other one anyways too, so I can just get there really quick. Oh, you fucking bitch. Alright, I guess I'm drawing up to it. Oops. Oh, I thought that was me drilling into one of those things. <laughs> You're panicked? Yeah. There we go. Okay. Back to the mules. Um, I tried to buy your license when you were talking to your chat. Uh, how do I get an upgraded beer license? Oh, you eventually unlock them, and then you can actually buy them. It's just, like, just ranking up, naturally. Okay. If I recall. It's... I haven't unlocked one in a while. 
just because it's like they I ran out. <laughs> it's the same thing with like the perks. I don't remember what perks are anymore unless I go and specifically look at them. What do we do once the, the meals are repaired? I think you ask this every time. No. So you return the mini mules and Molly to the drop pod, and then from there. Um, we have to fix the drop pod so that we can escape. That's not good. That's also not good. How the hell did I do that? Alright, so there's legs that are down here. Where is this thing? God, mini mule, shut up. Molly, get out of there. I think Molly's trying to come to me because I called her. That's fine. I'm just trying to figure out where the hell the other mini mule is up there. Oh, there it is. Okay. I see. So those secondary objectives, like random things that can happen, are those guaranteed to happen or no? Random. What do you mean random things that can happen? We just. The secondaries are just collections. No, like, like they're the random events, I guess, that we can also get. Oh, the machine events? Yeah, like, machine events, uh, just anything that's, like, kind of extra. Um, not necessarily, like, one of those, but it's some, most, more than likely, you'll either find, like, either a machine event, or you can find, um, like, a battery collector, a bobber thingy, that I can't remember the name of it. Dicks, um, like there's little like the extra stuff. Yeah, you could usually it's like really good chance you'll have something, but I've also had occasions where you just have nothing. Yep. Oh, he dodged it with a dick. Ooh, that was close. All right. Oh, you bitch! Oh, did I make that throw? Oh my god. I am your new god. Yeah, we have one. like 260 nitro. Nice. I got the last leg over at this mini mule. Just gonna repair it. Instead of hitting my grab boots, I uh, I hit rock and stone, so I just started to emote while I was falling. <laughs> nice. I feel like I saw a Jadis in the wall somewhere over here. Unless you got it. Oh, you must have got it. Maybe? I, I got Nitro, but I, I don't think I got it. I swear I saw a Jadis in the wall somewhere in this map. Where the hell did I see it? Maybe I'm losing my mind, which is also very possible. Oh, that's going the wrong way anyways. Herpa derpa sherpa derpa. Coming from this direction. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> I guess I drilled a hole there. I swear I saw Jadis on a wall somewhere. I'm not lying. Ah, there it is. It's up there. I don't know how the hell I'm going to be able to get that, though. I guess I could drill up into the ceiling. Oh! I didn't realize there was a ledge there. Nice. You toss it down. Molly's right by my feet here. Nice. I fucking saw that. Oh, damn. I fucking launched it. Oh, yeah. 
All right, cool. I know you needed Jadis, and I saw that, so I wanted to make sure we got it. I'm returning Molly and the mini mules. Pet the loot bugs, and they'll shit Here's out some gold. Are we just staying here? Like, should we just order supplies here? I just ordered a supply here. Yeah, this should be good. No. I had just killed a bug. <laughs> um, yeah. So this, so we repair the, we repair this, and then what that does is it will then call in the backup batteries, and then we'll we'll drop a we'll drop um, a resupply when they come in, and then you hook that up to the drop pod, and then you go from there. All right, I'm gonna start repairing this. But otherwise, are you ready to go? Yeah, I'm good. All right, cool. But dun 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 dun. All these loot bugs are about to die. I feel really bad. We got a warden. Attack! What the? Oh, it's it was inside the thing. Dipshit. <laughs> oh, how did I miss him twice? That's embarrassing. Melt. Bam, 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 bam. Car. Okay, where are those th fucking things falling? Uh, oh, I hear them. Oh, nice, right next. Wow. Hey, all right, guy. I got it. I got it. I got. Nope, I don't got it. Drop these pieces of gold from loot bugs that just blew up in my face. Alright. I'm gonna get the fuel line going. Uh what side is this thing on anyways? I didn't even look. Uh sorry, it's all, the, it's it's right all the way in the back? Oh no, alright, so to the right. Okay. Okay. Thanks, bro. Oh, ow. Alright. Preparing the fuel line, sir. So funny enough, I have like I have like close to ten viewers, <laughs> as we're all sitting here making fun of my shitty microphone. Five minutes into gameplay, everyone leaves. <laughs> Fuck, how does that even happen? Eh, I don't know. It's Sunday. I don't blame anybody. Maybe it's because they heard my voice. Maybe it's not a you problem. Well, I did, I did share your link in chat, so maybe everyone went there and said, well, fuck his mic, his mic sucks. No, I, I have the same viewers that I have on Twitch. 
Oh. I was gonna say if someone's up top, but you got him. Oh! Little bastards. <laughs> I've done that a few times. Ooh, hello. Sunday is my bonus stream day where I don't usually stream, but I usually stream anyways. But I usually have the highest viewer count on Sundays. Hmm. Well, it's bonus. It's exciting. All right, cool. Now you just have to survive for a little over a minute. You guys gotta clear out of here, loot bugs. Dwarf is very angry. Alright, let's get out of here. Oops. Fucking Steve! <laughs> Some of the games in the list, Doug, that you made are like atmospheric board games. Some of them look so fucking cool. Like which ones? Um. Let's. Refreshing the list right now. Let's see. Uh, like sweet seven seven six. Oh um, yeah. I was interested in. Uh, yeah, every every game that that dude has made is absolute fucking fire. Sweet seven seven six, Inside Depth six. Um, the V six nine six seemed interesting. Oh, V six nine six is really good. That was a Turkish developer. It's it's fucking mean. Yeah, like uh, these ones are ones that I all really want to check out soon. It's called Palmyra Orphanage. Uh, oh yeah, Palmyra Orphanage. Oh, Mace Narcosis Maiden. is really good. Uh, Miss Maiden is really good. Um, last visit is Simon there. Oh, uh, Simon Iron there. Lung. Same sweet seven seven six. Iron Lung is a really short game, but it's pretty cool. Like the concept's really cool. Inside Depth Six in Sound Mine. Yep. Yeah, you have all the Stanislaw games. They, they all look dope. I, well, because like I went to your list and I, I pulled them up on Steam today and I watched the video for every single one and then I added them to my list of what I think I should do. Noise. Uh, I have two of those marker things now. How many do I need for them to be? Two marker things? Yeah, what are these? Can I pull this up now? I got you a backbreaker stout, by the way. At the top of my screen, it says Rookie Miner, and then it says my credits, and then there's two, like, microphone things. I don't know what they are, unfortunately. Yeah! Oh, those are the, um, 
the blank matrix cores. You can't use those yet. I explained those to you last night. Oh, I remember. Do I need to select the next mission, or you got it? No, I I do because it's I'm hosting. Only the host can pick. So yeah, we have yours next. Um, it's a length two, complexity two, mining expedition. We're gonna find thirty five holomite, and it's a rival presence, which is more of what I was anticipating. For some reason, there was none on the last mission, but it was still part of the thing. I don't think I have to grab anything. Nope. Okay. Close to getting a silver beard and stuff up. Hurry up! Let's rock and roll! Rock and roll and stone! Rock and stone, everyone! Rock and solid! Rock solid! You know what it is, too? It's the first Sunday of football season, so everyone's watching every fucking game today. That's true. I do like football. I just don't keep up with this much. Same. I keep up with it because I play fantasy, but um, I only had one guy playing tonight. I didn't feel like watching the game. Well, it's funny that you say that. For the past, like, four or five years, I've been, like, the commissioner of my fantasy league of, like, a... Like, between 500 and like uh, 500 and a grand, and like we always had the same buddies. We always did like draft parties, but I was just like, I just sent a message to everyone. I was like, hey, I don't feel like running this shit this year. Everyone else wants to run it. Cool. Mm -hmm. If not, I guess we'll just do it next year. I just like. <laughs> and of course, no like, one, no one did yeah, shit no with one, it. No yeah. One did it. Of course, that's how it normally goes. Oh, there's some nitro over here. I'll get that. Uh, there's a picture of it in the top right hand corner. I know, but everything else is also pink. Well, it's pink and purple. You'll notice because it's sticking out of the ground, straight up like a bunch of other shit. Hey, uh, yeah, go get that. I'm sorry, is that a... It is, wow. That is fucking wild. Oh, I see, because you have to go around over here. Got it, got it, got it. Bop, bop, bop. I can't believe this game came out five years ago. Yeah, it's come a long way, too. I found a video online of what the high, uh, the space rig looked like. Um, and, like, how it evolved over time. Like, you see it, like, when it first, like, the game first came out, it was, like, so hokey looking, and now it's so goddamn detailed. Wow, that was loud. Are you shooting something? Uh, patrol bot? Oh, how the fuck did it... it how did it get in there? You're still back in the first room, right? Oh, you got it. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the first room. Sorry, I was trying not to kill it. No, good work. I like the little hack thing. It's fun. This bot is hacked for support. Alright, I'm just going to scout ahead a little bit. When you're ready, go here. Oh, headshot and a fucking acid spitter. That was great. Oh, it drops down here. Okay. Got some nitra. Discord message you sent. Huh? I do not have that. 
Sorry, I got to know. Oh, it's all good. I said, I, I swear I sent you a DM earlier too. So I'm like, I'm like, wait, what did I send him? Ah. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you exactly what you sent. You said your mom didn't like that I was banging your dad. That's correct. Is that not accurate, or...? That's accurate. Okay, just making sure. Uh, I found the, uh... Our rival friends, or not really friends, but you know. The rival pres presence. It's just so weird, they just sit here, they won't shoot other- They won't shoot the bugs, and the bugs won't shoot them. But both of- both groups come after us. Like, I don't get it. Some more kite up there. Boom. Oh, shoot, dude. Oh, my God. There we go. There's one. There's a repulsion target. And look what's hidden back over here all by itself. The turret controller. Oh, come on. I had it. I hit the mouse button. Didn't go. Oh, wow. What? Oh, my God. Come on. There we go. Oh wow, you're getting fucked up there. <laughs> it's just shit getting flying everywhere. Yeah. I'm okay now. Um. So I do see some nitra, but I haven't seen any hollow mines. Um, there's some up here. There's some there. And there's some there. That's Morkite. Well, Morkite's what we need. Oh, we I mean, you're the one that just said I haven't seen more kite yet, so I just told you where it was. I thought I thought I was saying hollow mite. Well, there's hollow mite, so there you go. We've all we've, it's all here. <laughs> oh, actually, I found more kite that I can actually get. Do to do. I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. Lovely. Well, there's even more and more kite over here. Jesus. There's a ton in this room. Are they all going after you? Oh, no, they're not. That's an oppressor. Hello. <laughs> Explosion. 
Melt, bitch. Oh, Jesus. Thought I was gonna die to fall damage, but uh. You didn't. I think we have to go this way, it looks like. Yeah, there's a little dirt path over there, did you see that? Yeah, I'm just looking to see where that Oh, there's another little loop around down here. I'll make a deposit in you. Big Taddy Junks. <laughs> Thanks, Big. Big ol' meanie. Um, yeah, I think there's a pathway down here that just loops around. I don't even see if there's anything good down here. What did she do now? She just fucking hit me off the ledge. <laughs> like, oh, excuse me, I need to fit up on here. Oh, thanks. Yeah, and I'm like up on the ceiling. Like, she walked over this rock just to knock me over the fucking ledge. Yeah, there was nothing around that little loop to do. Oh, shit. Right behind us. Come and rescue me! It's a good thing it's so slow. It's done. the place. Uh, How long? Oh, it's New Mexico. Knoxler's gross ass. Take me home. <laughs> Ow! That's pretty sick. I have all sorts of vinyls that you've probably never heard of. Tell me your favorite. Oh, that's that's a rough one. Um, hmm. I think just because that is the first one that came to mind, probably the Raya album from Oathbreaker. Is it just uh, a really good album and vinyl, or is there anything? Uh, no, it's, it's a basic vinyl. Um, I guess it's in terms of album, like just the music material, that's my favorite. In terms of design, uh, I have like a green and black splatter one from um, the first Pupil Slicer album. Great band name, by the way. Pupil Slicer? Pupil Slicer. Yeah, I have, a, I have a couple of cool ones, uh, so I have some like limited edition ones that only a hundred of them were made. Oh, there you go. Ah. That is like that, and it's like green and blue. It's so fucking cool. I have played it like a couple times, but I, it scares me. Because you don't want to scratch it? Yeah, it, it's really user error. It's not like I'm afraid of like ruining it. I just, I really don't want to scratch it. Whoa. 
I feel like if I got a new, um, a whole new, like, system, it would be a lot better. Because the original one I had was, like, one that was hooked up to, like, the whole sound system. Like, it doesn't output to, like, anything other than, like, speakers. And you have to have the, the amplifier, you know? Mm -hmm. That was the first one I had. But, like, it took up so much room. Like, I only could fit shit in my, like, my single room. So I didn't... Uh, not use that amplifier anymore. Get rid of it, and I still own the record player because it's a really nice record player. Um, and I use a I use one that just has speakers on it now, so I could like move it around in my room. Oh, nice. Yeah, I've never actually had a record player. I need to probably get one so I can listen to this shit. Oh, I have an extra one. I might be able to send it to you. Have to do that. Dude, fucking vinyls and records, top tier. You're a top tier music. Okay, I can't deal with this You know you can just be like, hey, I need to drop a resupply because I have no ammo. I was just busy collecting gold. Have a nice conversation with my friend. Far too long. Oh god, that I I actually know that song. Um Go get that. Who was it? So I know D uh, Darius Rucker was who was it? Cooley and the Blowfish or something like that? Yep. And that's that's who originally did that song. Hold my hand. I'm over here, out here. I, I want to understand more of your musical taste. Um, how do you, what do you think of, uh, do you, you could just either give brief or detailed. What do you think of, uh, these two bands, The Police and, uh, Kings of Leon? Uh, very much enjoy The Police. I always have. Um, Sting solo stuff as well. Um, Kings of Leon, I know maybe two or three songs by them. Not really my cup of tea, but um, their backstory is very interesting. I think they're um, like they're all from like families of like uh, like traveling churches or something like that. Yeah, and something good, good like that. <laughs> and well, no, I mean like it's it's just cool. Like that's where they came from because it's like how did you find this? Like how did you find rock and roll music? Because it's the same thing as with Katy Perry. Like her dad was a pastor. And they're consistently traveling around, and like, she wasn't allowed to listen to like any music like that. And one day, a friend of hers showed her Queen, and she was like, "What the fuck is this?" Do you know who? Uh, I don't know how to say their name. Um, I was gonna ask you the other day. Uh, I think it's just G O S T Ghosts. Oh, the um. They're like a, uh, like an industrial band, like or uh, it's like synthwave. Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty good. I was damned to their music a little bit yesterday. I um, I unfortunately, I went to a, I went to a festival where they played and I unfortunately missed them, but my friend that went and saw them said they were fantastic. Um. If you're into like industrial or synthwave, just like kind of like that, not so much like dancey stuff, but just like weird thing to kind of jam out to, um, Author and Punisher, it's a one man project. He's from, I think he lives in San Diego, but he's from New Hampshire, up in my area, well, my area of the country, not at my state, but um, he's an electromechanical engineer and he built all of his instruments and they are like one of a kind instruments. Um, and he basically makes his own beats with these things and travels around and tours with them. Um, dude, it's fucking insane. Like, there's nothing really else like it. So... Where did you go? Oh, you're up there. Yeah, so, like, I know you want to, like, pick songs that are, like, to my taste so you can, like, understand. Or, like, like, oh, listen to this, listen to that, whatever. But, like, what is your favorite? That's a very loaded question. Um, favorite, I would say your favorite metal band. Again, loaded question. <laughs> okay. Uh, how can we 
break this up. It's it's really di I listen to a lot of fucking music. Um how would you break up if you had to categorize your metal listenings? How would you break up? Into subgenres? Okay, so what what's uh, some subgenres that you enjoy? Um death metal, black metal, doom metal. Um I'm not going to lie. I I still very much dig occasional uh late 90s early 2000s new metal like fucking like like limp biscuit <laughs> and like three doors down three doors down is not metal but no it's limp biscuit metal oh, it's, oh here, here's a good example how about lincoln park from lincoln park from back then was awesome that's new metal it's when you're you're metal. yeah it's when you're taking in you know, heavy metal influences and mixing with like rap and R and B. So like same thing, corn. Corn was one of my favorite bands growing up. They were a new metal band. So uh, we already touched new metal, so no new metal. What is uh Where are we going? Molly? Why am I on the ceiling with you? Oh god, I'm gonna die. Ow. There's doom metal. And then yeah. you what uh, it was heavy metal? Um, then, well, heavy metal is like an umbrella term. I think you used it in the no. I said black metal, death metal, oh. doom metal. Black, death and doom. Give me favorites from all those subgenres. Jesus Christ. Um. Jeez. Uh. Uh. Let's see. I guess black metal. Um. I've always really liked Wolves in the Throne Room. Um, they're from Washington State, and, uh, they're more atmospheric than they are, like, it's not like the original Norwegian stuff from, like, the late 80s, early 90s, where it's just constant blast beats, and sounds like they recorded it in a Pringles can, uh, whereas, like, Wolves of the Throne, it's, it's more produced, and they're, like, they use a lot of different synths and whatnot, and, um... And it's not like a lot of black metal is very anti-religion based lyrics, but theirs are more so like just based on Nordic mythology and like nature, um, which is pretty cool. Wolves in the throne room. Um, oh shit! I didn't realize Tree's here. Tree is actually a, another person you can ask for random shit. He's mentioning Mathcore. Um, Mathcore is definitely not something you should be listening to anytime soon. <laughs> um, so they call it Mathcore because it's typically like really strange, um, like time signatures and whatnot. Uh, but if you want to listen to the one Mathcore band that I would always tell everyone to listen to if they never listened to the genre before, is Dillinger Escape Plan. I, well, I've mentioned to them. I mentioned them you to you before about that band, and I've also provided uh, Twy a song of theirs that I really liked. All right, that was a big he says, circle. Jug's being quizzed right now. Oh, you like metal? Name ten bands. Yeah, you, you like metal? Jug, name them all. Yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> name them some, all. Put some of your favorites in the chat. Oh, true. Tree also Hi, mentioned. Mom, I love you. So Tree also mentioned for Wolves in the Throne Room, um, the album that he. Uh, that he recommends is Diadem of the Twelve Stars which is actually it's a very good fucking album um, I don't really know which I don't know what album would be my favorite for that uh, Death Metal is is even tougher because that has sub-genres within itself as well how is there sub-genres of a sub-genre? Uh, oh dude it, it, it goes deep <laughs> It's a nested fucking class inside of a nested class inside of a nested class? Yes. Essentially. Um, I guess it's right on my alley. But like, one of the, um, I guess just the first one that just came to mind is there's Slam Death Metal, which is something, it was more, it was bigger in like, what, maybe mid to late 90s? Um, it's still around nowadays, but I feel like it's not as big as it was. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, but I really, really enjoy uh, Skinless. And um, 
the band that I thought was going to be skinless at a festival that I went to, and it wasn't, was uh, Internal Bleeding. They're very good, too. Um, things that, They're bands you are not going to like based on what you've told me, uh, but I figured I'd share. Oh, <laughs> Tree says just listen to Bolt Thrower, which is probably a good point. If you've never listened to Death Metal before, Bolt Thrower is a very good place to start. Devil Skin in the, is a New Zealand band, though, so you're probably not too familiar. Devil Skin? I don't. Ooh. Kiwi, Kiwi needs to send me links. Like, yeah, if you can, in mine or just Discord, if you could do like the like the best representation, Devil Skin, I guess. Just put in like media or something like that. That'd be sick. So, similar vibe to Hailstorm. Hailstorm or is it Hailstorm? It's Hailstorm. Will do. Thank you. Yeah, me and Jug are actually just practicing for our new uh, music review podcast. What the fuck? Every once a week, every Sunday, we hop no, we're, on no, we're not. Galactic. <laughs> we uh, start trying to do missions, and we won't ever find the last bit, like this Hall of Might and Mork guy, and we talk about... Yeah. Well, you keep going around in the same exact circle. I'm actually... You know what, Jug? You're not wrong. <laughs> I'm actually running around here getting all the more kite. Right, and you know gonna... we're done. <laughs> I'm gonna... just been running in circles while Yes. Um, I mean, I was running in circles for a bit too, so I, I can't really say otherwise. But I'm gonna keep moving forward to see if there's anything else down here, like a machine event. Oh, fuck. There's a tri jaws. Ow! Oh, I got him? That was a good shot. There's more more kite there. I, so I know it's a loaded question, but there's not one that, like, top of your, like, head that you're just like, wow, like, this is absolutely, like, the best. Not, like, the best as in, like, the best ever do it. Like, like, they're just so good, I almost constantly listen to them or I never get old. Uh, or like, you know, if they come around, uh, like on a tour and you just know I, you have to go and see them. Yeah. Um, honestly, and this is probably going to work well because it's a clean, it's clean vocals. Um, but, uh, it, they're a very polarizing band. A lot of people like them. A lot of people don't like them. Uh, it's a band called Ghost. And, uh, Yes. They are, well, they used to be an anonymous band, but then everyone kind of knew who the singer was anyways. Um, but they come out wearing, like, these masks and whatnot, like, straight out of, like, um, what do you call it? Fucking, uh, I, like the movie Eyes Wide Shut. And they're basically what happens when you take, like, Black Sabbath, a um, little bit of Led Zeppelin, and a ton of Blue Oyster Cult and mix it together and make all the lyrics about like praising Satan. So, if, if you're adding a lot of blues or coal, is that just a lot of cowbell or...? <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Noxler should listen to Portal. No, he should not. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, fuck. Okay, I think I cancelled the drop on control. Oh yeah, if you let go, it's fine. Um... Yeah, Portal, it's not that easy because not everyone is into that kind of music and some people don't understand the nuance. That's true. Um, yeah, Portal is basically what happens when you take the extremities of black metal and death metal, push them together, and all of their lyrics are based upon mythology that they have written. <laughs> but it's very... Um, uh, it's very, it's very Lovecraftian based stuff uh, in terms of, like the mythology they wrote. It's it has a lot of influences from uh, Lovecraft stuff. So when you say clean vocals, is the opposite dirty vocals or um harsh? Harsh vocals. Yep. What the hell is that? What just fell? Out? Oh, never mind. That thing had a ball bag. That was weird. This is a fucking massive room, and there's going to be nothing in here of importance. 
more nitro that we don't need, more holomite that we don't need, more magnetite we don't, whatever the hell is it, more kite. Damn, I was hoping for these gold. They fucked up. Alright, I think we're good to go. So, I am a. S okay, ha ha this is a good question. I think yeah, well, that's, that's subjective, but okay. <laughs> you're gonna say it's a good question. Okay, so. Going back to those, those like, doom metal, stuff like that, uh, what would you say are groups or bands that are very popular in those categories? Like, probably even, like, the most popular, but you don't like, and what are the reasons why you don't like it? Um, hmm. Ooh. You know what? And Tree's gonna get mad at me, or maybe he will. I don't know. I know Wheeler would. Well, Wheeler doesn't really give a shit, but I know I've had conversations in Wheeler's Discord because there's a music section there. It's a lot of conversation happens. Um, so Carcass uh, is a. Well, I don't know. It's it's like some of their shit's grindcore, some of it's death grind. Um, what the fuck is grindcore? Death grind. <laughs> grindcore is very fast, but it's it's like. If you take, like, punk music and mix it with death metal, it's kind of... You're somewhere in the middle kind of, there. Kind of like Nightcore, or what? What the hell is Nightcore? Never mind. Um, but yeah, Car know. everyone, everyone like, lays... They lay down for Carcass. Like, we love Carcass, blah, blah, blah. And, like, every time I've listened to them, it just... And I've listened to most of their discography, and they have a ton of albums, and it's just... It doesn't do it for me. Um, like their their gimmick is silly. I think it's it definitely stands out. Where like all their lyrics are like medical terminologies. Noxler, listen to Insect Warfare. <laughs> oh God, where the hell did you go? That's a tree. I'll come get you. You'll find out quickly that Tree's just trying to troll because <laughs> he's just listing bands that we've seen at Maryland Death Fest. <laughs> Insect Warfare, actually, we saw they closed out the festival one year and legit people were throwing um, barrels of trash up on the stage. <laughs> um, why are you drilling? Uh, why are you digging down? Gotcha. <laughs> I looted it nowhere. Well, All right, like... we're leaving. Let's go. Because we're getting a swarm right now, so we might as well just leave. Where I just came from, it's not. You've been in the same room the whole time. You dug into the ceiling and then down the wall. That's toxic. How is it toxic? <laughs> it's not a troll. I want to see. The difference in genres and why it's important. Oh, I want him to see the difference. Oh, okay. Where did you go? Oh my god. Who, me? I was following you. Where's Molly going now? She can go her own way. <laughs> Molly's going where I just came from. Molly's on Molly. So is metal the only thing you listen to? No. A lot of it's it's you will Um not entirely. I do I've done um some hardcore punk um reviews. Um I mean that that particular online website that I write for specializes in heavier music, but like I listen to I listen to some rap, some R and B. Um, uh, essentially, I listen to fucking whatever as long as it's not country. I I can't do it. I've tried so many times. What's that? Can't stand country. I, it's not that I can't stand it. Just it's all my mom would listen to, and it's just it's not for me. 
Except for like. Awesome. Thanks for freezing me, dickhead. I mean, I got in. Oh, wait, power trip. Yeah, no, power trip is a definite go-to. Um, so power trip is basically what happens when you take, like, you take, imagine punk back in, like, the, the heyday, like, the late 70s, early 80s, and then make it really angry. I just got legendary minor achievement. Fuck yeah. Um... And then distort everything so that you're trying to sound like Slayer. If you do, although I know you played Guitar Hero, didn't you? Yeah, I know Slayer. Yeah, no, yeah. So it's imagine Slayer, but they're more punky. And yeah, no. Distortion is just on. Yes. Yeah, no. Power Trip was a fucking fantastic band. That unfortunately we lost the lead singer back in 2020. Um, he's no longer with us. Oh, Riley Gale, rip. But, uh, I think the rest of... What's the KPI terminal, by the way? KPI Oh, that's the one that's in your, um... It's actually in your room there. This next one's gonna be Ridic. It's another salvage operation. Three length, three complexity... Rocky Mount, Rocky Mountain Ale, though? Uh, I don't know if it's worth it for this one. Because the only thing we're digging into is just to get the legs. Meh. I'll save it. Scrip. <laughs> do, 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 do. What about my prick? Well, it's just to categorize it because it's it's come so far from like Black Sabbath, because <laughs> Black Sabbath was the OG, and it's just it's spread so much since then. Um, it's, it's, it's like the crazy thing is like also is like I guarantee anyone I know or whatever it may have not heard like some of the stuff you listen to, so it just like it just it's uh, like culture shock a little bit of your. Right. Sense? Yeah. No, I mean, I I have friends like, so for instance, Tree will be like, have you guys listened to this new album yet? I'm like, I have no idea who the fuck that is. And I press play and I'm like, now I know who this is. This is really fucking good. There's just, there's an over, I won't say an overabundance of it, but there's definitely an abundance of heavy music, regardless of what the genre is. Um, I mean, not, not all of it's good. You're going to find shit, but... Uh, no, this it's not worth getting that one. Yeah, I mean, that one is really cool, but the whole point... What the hell is through there? The whole point of that one is the Rocky Mountain one is basically you can... It takes one less hit to get into, like, the wall and other things, but, like, the only thing we're digging into is just to get the arms. It's, like, it's really not worth it. If this was, like, if you were doing an oil refinery mission and you weren't the driller... It, that's fucking OP. <laughs> you, just, you just bang, 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 bang right on through. So, like, as someone who's been in music at a collegiate level, like a very it's deep wrong. understanding for music theory, this is my point of view from metal that I've experienced it without listening to any of the stuff you've ever pretty much mentioned. Is. So. I like, I understand time signatures, I understand keys and stuff very well. 
like to the point where like I can tell the majority of the time what key any song is in and stuff like that. And it's not like yeah. flex. It's just saying I understand music at like a little bit deeper level than most people. Right, because um, you have theory training and you can listen. You can you know learn from ear. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, I guess a, a better way to say it is like I, I have more of a trained ear than most people. Yes, absolutely. So, but like. To a certain extent of what I've listened to with metal, this is what I want you to change my mind with. A lot of the metal I've heard just sounds the same. You're probably listening to stuff that you probably are exposed to either by a radio or mainstream stuff that maybe like YouTube will send to you. Um, what's some of the stuff that you've listened to that it sounds the same? Okay, don't answer my question then. Oh, there you are. <laughs> no, no, I'm thinking. So, like, I'm trying to explain. My brain works, and it makes sense to me, but I'm trying to explain how, why my brain works, and it kind of makes sense. I mean, I, I, you don't have to explain how your brain works or how your thought process, process works. I just want to hear the bands you think that sound similar. And I can tell you, maybe because they're from the same subgenre, they could be from the same, like, area of the world like it's there's a lot of things that can cause that it's why it makes it hard so like the way my brain ends up like retaining the name of the song because like i'm really bad with names and dates and stuff like that is i have to like it has to scratch my brain and like i showed him animals as leaders already he said he was gonna like, quit guitar my brain, like hyper fixates on it and like we'll just like listen to it non-stop and like it will just be like a song i will always love you know so i i've heard a lot of stuff but i can't put names to it and it doesn't help you that's why i'm trying to think of groups or bands that sound similar. well the stuff that i've shown you has been vastly different from each other so yes <laughs> so i, I think like, so the uh, so this conversation is moot then because we've already i've already discussed that it's not the same because i went for re uh for reference to anyone listening I have, I showed Knox one day, Meshuga, super genty, heavy, down tuned, like it's some of, some of the heaviest music you can really listen to in terms of like down tuned and um, distorted music. But then on the other side, I show him Animals as Leaders, which is just absolute guitar winkery. Oh, spot of possession or psychroptic? Oh god. The the one I liked the most was the guy that you said Mick Gordon got a lot of the, his inspiration from. Oh yeah, it's Meshuggah. He's anyone that writes Gen um, style of music, which is that um, the ba bam bam ba da 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 ba bam bam ba bam ba bam that like twangy um, like open string. Um, notes i guess you'd say i'm trying to explain it a bit it's like that style of like uh anything that comes from like <laughs> like sumerian records a lot too um they essentially kind of all sprouted because of meshuggah because they were the first ones to really at least pop popularize it i'd say i don't know if they're the first band to ever write a song like that because that would that's quite the the claim but they're at least the first band to do it and get like noticed for it on like an international scale, because they're from Sweden and they like they don't they're not playing, you know, like Gillette Stadium like Rammstein just did. But I mean they're, but they'll play fucking, you know, these venues, and they'll they'll sell very well. Well, because it's it's not like uh, there's lights and stuff right here. I just. Yeah, I'm just I'm just tossing them over to where the body is. I can understand how what I was saying makes like the like what I the goal I have because like you kind of have proved it. But I'm saying like I want to be able to I guess know the difference between them. You'd have to li you'd, you'd have to listen and just know because it's it's I could sit here and explain it to you. But you're n it's not going to make sense till you listen. Unless I'm like, oh, here's the difference between death metal and doom metal. Like, that's easy. Yeah, yeah. Death metal is very fast. It's down tuned. Almost, almost always harsh vocals. Like, 
it's just machine gun like like it's okay fine listen to doom metal and it's very slow the notes are drawn out it's just as distorted if not more than death metal you fucking died my craft boots didn't work oh are they on cooldown they were available but i think i might have emoted again I need a <laughs> key. yeah i should i needed to make mine a different key too because sometimes i i hit um like x i think which does nothing well i i almost never hit c in games i use v a lot for so like that is in my, in my head. Yeah, I use C for crouch a lot. Um, did I repair that thing in total? I did. Okay, we've got two of them done. There's a third mule somewhere, and we still have no holomite. Wow. All right, so that is. All right, so it is this way. Okay. It won't let me get in this hole. <laughs> well, I mean, you're literally in the ceiling, so yeah, you'd have to drill further in or dig further in, rather. What the fuck? How the hell did I do that? Da -da 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 -da. I've got all day! Oh, here's the shitheads. Oh, there's the fucking sniper turrets. Fuck! I, I can deal with the sniper turrets. Sniper turret disabled! Oh God! All right, no more sniper things or anything. Nope. Cool. All right. I'm gonna try to disable this. Hopefully, I don't die. Fuck. What the delay? Done. Thrash metal is a really good intro to metal for most people because it lacks the challenge that like death or black metal present. That's also true. I mean, yeah, one of the first like I, I don't want to say real metal because that sounds like a fucking gatekeeper thing, but like something that was beyond new metal was probably like Metallica. And like Metallica is really easy to listen to. Like, compared to what you listen to, is Metallica just, like, mid? No, I, I mean, I, I think it, it depends on what people's opinions are. Because, like, you could ask people that, and you'll get you'll get conversations of, like, oh, yeah, Metallica sucks, Megadeth is, like, where you need to go. And other people are like, no, Megadeth is garbage, Dave Mustaine can't fucking sing to save his life. So, it all depends oh, on... Oh, oh, order, order. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I can't reach it from this far out. I'm running over to it now. Yeah, it, it will disappear into a wall, so you have to kill it quick. Oh, there you go. Fuck. Got it. Oh, God! Fucking Shellback was just crawling next to me. Chocolo coming down the ceiling, Jesus Christ. That was fun. Yeah, like, thrash metal bands that are, like, really easy to listen to. I'd say Metallica is definitely a gateway. Um, if you're looking for more, like, 
like uh, away from like because they were more like obviously a lot of this stuff is politically charged and whatnot if you're looking for just stuff that's like almost party shit or just like drinking beer smoking weed yeah man you're gonna go for like municipal waste iron reagan um dri uh a couple others i just can't i just not thinking of i have too much around metallica has the key to my heart who There's said that? Uh, ah. Yeah, I've seen Metallica once, and it was a awesome show. Saw them it was a couple years ago. It was right before COVID. A couple year, year or two before COVID. Saw them at Gillette Stadium, which is where I was on Friday. How do you feel about Foo Fighters? Uh, Foo Fighters are good. I don't, I don't love them, but I appreciate Dave Growl. I appreciate all the musicianship that's in that band. Um, but like, I'm not actively like searching out to listen to them. But if I hear some of their shit, I'm like, oh yeah, it's Foo Fighters. They actually. Yeah. Uh, but I don't, I don't know many other than I'm not classifying them as heavy over metal. one hour and thirty minutes. Just what? Trying to see your stance on music, picking at your brain right now. I know. I'm giving you all the information I can give you. I had tickets to Metallica a few years back in New Zealand, but then they canceled. So hopefully they'll be able to get a ticket when they come out. They sold out twelve minutes last time. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. The tickets are. Right Give him Gojira. Tree, you don't even like Gojira, but that's a good idea. Gojira is a really good band to listen to if you want to try death metal because they sound, they, they have a lot of influences from like old school death metal bands from Florida, but they're also much easier to listen to because their vocalist does a lot more, he doesn't do like a scream. He'll do some light growling, but a lot of the stuff is almost like a spoken growl, if that makes sense. It's a lot more um, uh, digestible, we'll say. Yeah, I understand. My, my biggest turnoff to metal is not the vocals. It's um, not the vocals? It's no. Just, just to like... Ow. Like, I guess the biggest turnoff to metal is not understanding how to like get into metal does that make sense i'd like, say so because like, you can't i don't i don't understand like anything or any of the subgenres that you've even talked that's about that's and i've okay oh there's so many deals everywhere none of them want to come well the only one you can use is molly stop moving you little whore where are you going molly <laughs> <laughs> Like, uh, if, if I could, like, uh, uh, explain a, a feeling or something like that of, like, music I like. Never heard of Metallica, uh, Demon? Damn. Direction, this might help, too. There's so much more. Like, I really like how Doom music makes me feel like I can walk through a fucking wall. Yeah, <laughs> so if you like the feeling of walking through a wall, it may be worth checking out Hardcore. Or hardcore punk is the full term, but it's short. It's shortened down to just hardcore. Like that's like I'll listen to that shit if I'm absolutely pissed off or I'm, like if if I'm working out. I know that's a good joke, um, but like uh, it's it's it really is like a, like a lot of shit. If you ever just want to listen to the angriest music possible, that's usually the way to go. But then there's also hardcore bands that are not angry at all, and it's like. Stuff you can dance to and move around to. It's it's really funny. There's dancing and metal music? I thought it was just moshing in that weird, uh... Arch... Uh, the pretty good. That weird dance? Oh, uh, what is it? Because you can, like, you could two-step. And, like, that's pretty much dancing is as far as dancing is concerned in, in the realm of heavy music. Because otherwise, you're usually just pushing people or running around and whatever. Something that's kind of like surprising. So I've been to a lot of like 
metal concerts. I wouldn't say heavy metal because I don't know many heavy metal bands. Well, me metal concert. metal is heavy. It's the same thing. It's just shorting down the name from heavy metal to metal. It's it's an umbrella term. Well, like that. This is like the weird thing because like the the most the craziest concert I've been to, and I've been to some like crazy stuff, I guess. Oh, this I should be good. Go to in New Mexico. The craziest, like the crowd was the craziest, not like them being crazy. Okay. The people at Modest Mouse were fucking insane. I've actually heard that a couple times. Like I don't understand it, like because like relative music wouldn't really reflect it, but like they have rowdy fucking concerts. I believe it. How do I get this nitro? I'm gonna do a thing right next to the place. Yeah, I mean you could return Molly too, cause we're we're good. We got enough holomite. <clears throat> oh, you fucking bitch! There you go. Whoa! Almost just walked off the edge of a cliff. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Ba, 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 ba. But yeah, your best bet if you want to if you want to get into listening to more of that shit, it's honestly you really just kind of have to experiment and just kind of you you kind of start picking out things you like about it and things you don't like about it, and then you end up finding that there's some genres of music that you uh, some of it that you'd like and some of it you wouldn't, and then even from there, there's going to be bands within a subgenre that you don't like, but others that you do. So, like, bye, Twy. My favorite uh, band, uh, the heaviest band I listen to is Skillet. Skillet, there's a fucking name I haven't heard in a long time. <laughs> that band, I don't know why, but it, like, you know how. Filling my lungs with oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> you know how I said music makes me want to walk through a wall? Skillet makes me want to bang my head against the fucking wall. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, get on your knees for Jesus. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, Faith plus why. one. Now, a friend, a friend showed me them back in high school, and I was just like, what in the world? Yep. Uh, where is it? Shit. St what the? F there we go. I finally got him. Yeah, this is a complex three, so it's it's out there. All right, um, that thing's not returned yet. Can I drill this? I can't remember if I can. oh I can. Nice. There's a hot spot right next to it. I'm just gonna drill it out. That wasn't the best way to do it, but it it, it works. You didn't return her. I thought I hit the button. You have to press and hold. You know you don't have to waste ammo on that stuff, right? I mean, I guess. Oh, uh, Tree tagged you um, in my Discord under the Jukebox channel. I'm assuming he probably gave you some good stuff. He also... Oh, let me drill this out. Because he also, um... He has made some of his own music, too. Um, although his stuff, I think in... Sorry if I misquote you on this tree, but I'm pretty sure the stuff he has made is specifically made to not be able to play it. <laughs> like, made it in Guitar Pro. Don't listen to my music. <laughs> oh, we added the How to Get Into series. Oh... Fuck. I fucked that up. 
Come on. There we go. Hey, fuck off. I'm busy trying to dig this wall out. There we go. What a mess this is. Yeah, I, I, I fucked up the drilling of the hot spot. Ow, what the fuck, dude? Oh, and then of course I... Oh, that's dumb. I dug this out and there's a goddamn ceiling of hot spots above it. That's stupid. That is the wrong button. Uh, get away from that. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Alright, I fucked that up entirely. Whatever, we got through it. <laughs> sure. Oh, yeah, we have enough for more. Uh, where the oh the cells are way up there, not way up there, but is that the hammer? No, to hit. Yes, that's the well. Actually, no, it is. I'm sorry. That's the fuel cells. Yeah, good call. Yeah, you can hook that thing up. I'm done doing your goddamn work. Jug, stop fucking up. Fuck you, demon. <laughs> Oh, actually, hold up. I'm gonna. I, I think we could do this. Check this out. <laughs> Just fucking drill around it so it falls. When did you ever get such a big brain, dude? Uh, it's because I have a small penis. You have to have some big balance of the universe. Um. All right, here. No, no, no. Here we go. Really? Oh, you piece of shit. You tree climbing halfwit. Wow. It's all the way over here. Oh, okay. <laughs> God damn it. Hit a one shot? No. Okay, that's fine. Get it here. Boom. Alright, first off, that. Yeah, you do that. I'm gonna try to dig us out of here. Yeah, like the, the green circle it'll be there, yeah. That's fine. I just like to give us. Alright, it totally worked fine last time. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. I think this is probably gonna be the best we're gonna get it. Um. Yeah, let's let's fucking do it. You got uh, some. You got ammo and stuff. You good? Yeah. Oh, well, now that I can see where the circle is. I'll just keep drilling. Don't worry about me. <laughs> Ow. Oops. Yes. <laughs> I'm just having fun over here, just drilling through everything. Don't mind me. <laughs> hey, a dick. 
How many clips do I have? I have a lot of clips. I mean, I've been streaming for almost two years. I have no idea. Alright, cool. We don't have to hide in there anymore. Yeah, two years next month. Whoa, my dude. Eat that acid. Snipe him. Oh, I didn't get him. Oh, well. I was hoping Thorns were going to take care of him. <laughs> Have you met anybody famous? Um, just the people that are in bands. I mean, I, I guess, yeah, quite a few, um, actors, actresses, um, directors, uh, voice actors, uh, wrestlers, that I've been hanging out with, uh, I'm sorry, that I've, um, that I've, I've had time to talk to and like had a good conversation with. I guess one of my favorites is definitely Roddy Roddy Piper. He was drunk at. You don't know Rowdy Roddy Piper? Oh. oh Jesus fucking Christ, Knoxler. Oh. Who is that? He's a fucking. like. legendary professional wrestler. I'm not into wrestling. You should be. <laughs> um. He was. He was drunk as fuck. And he had a neck brace on because he had done he did something, um, and he was just like he's like so what are you up to like what what's life doing for you kid, and I'm like well I'm like I'm graduating college and like well, I, I I already graduated college and I was like I'm I'm seeing this girl right now and things are going great I'm at this convention I'm seeing some good bands today I'm like I got no complaints and he was like sounds like you got your life figured out keep it up and he gave me a big old hug and we took a picture. <laughs> Oh yeah, he was he was fucking wasted. Oh, I've been to get <laughs> like I was talking to him and I got like I got like a fucking contact drunk off of his breath. I have another script available for what? I didn't do anything. This looks nice. Um, let's see, who else have I met? Uh, did you ever see the movie Clerks? For fuck's sakes, Knox. Well, I met, I met, I met the main character Dante. Um, yep. Yeah. All right, all right. Here's one that you should fucking know. Have you ever seen the show Invader Zim? Yes. Okay. I met the guy who voiced Zim, who also voiced. He also voiced um, Daggett from Angry Beavers. Um, and then he was also Billy from Billy and Mandy, but I wouldn't really watch that one. Um, and then sitting right next to him was uh, the guy who voiced Gurr from Invader Zim. It was a rock and shot convention. It's like a horror movie convention. Did in... Nox ask me about a PC build? Is that horror movie conventions? We did. It's it's gone. Uh, he asked if you ever built a PC. Um, yeah, it was like it was. So it was in uh, like Western Mass. You basically had. Um, this one convention center would hold the convention and then up the block was, is a venue 
where they'd have a bunch of bands playing. Sounds super cool. Also, come get your beer. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've met a lot of people at, through that convention. Um, I sat in line to meet Robert England, who was the original Freddy Krueger, but unfortunately, I wanted to go see some bands. What happened to my... Oh, there we go. Um, I, I wanted to go see a band. I didn't want to miss them, so I ended up hopping out of line. Oh shit, we're doing a s wait a minute. Can you do me a favor? Come down here, look at the assignment board, don't click on it. At the very bottom, there's a row of diamonds. Are we on the last one? Very bottom. I said don't press anything, just look at the screen. Hit escape, I can tell you're looking at it. There you go. At the very, so it says assignment board, right? <laughs> look down. Yes, we're on the very last one, Chuck. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Wait, your guy's sitting there. He's like, it looks like he's fingering through a fucking book. I'm like, I could tell you're looking at the screen. God fucking red-handed. Um, so we're going to do the industrial sabotage mission. I'm going to move it down to a has two, Just because this this is actually a pretty difficult mission type. But it is pretty fun. Fact, as, a sec as a secondary, yes. Um, the fossils are stupid, but we have you and you can get most of them because usually up in the walls and the ceilings and demon says he hasn't built a PC yet, but going to buy part by part, um, probably a part each month, mostly focusing on schoolwork, sports, and then gaming, but he does have the case. Mm-hmm. progress of poggers pogging out of your literal mind do you know that dude from dirty dancing uh patrick swayze yeah i met that guy he was a huge dick <laughs> i like how i'm talking about all these like great people i like oh i had a great conversation with these people like you know the guy from dirty dancing yeah he was a dick Like, yeah. That's not what I meant. <laughs> that's probably why he was being a dick. He didn't fucking care anymore. I wouldn't. Uh, I've met a lot of people that are like B-class celebrities. Um, I met one time at a uh, pro-am uh, down at a golf course I ended up working at years later. Um, I met Warren Moon, who was the quarterback of the Vikings at one point. He grunted at me. And I I don't know. I walked up to him. There was like a line of people that were meeting him and getting like, you know, quick conversation, getting this, you know, sig you know autograph. And I was like, oh, excuse me, Mr. Moon, can I get your autograph? And he's like, <clears throat> and then walked away. I was like, okay, bye. Did you use the golf or you just worked at a golf course? I, walk I worked at a golf course. This is before I worked there. My dad was working there and he was like, yeah, you guys should come by. I'm like, all right. And I remember my grandfather was like, get over here. He, like, he dragged me over to go meet Bobby Orr, which was actually awesome. Um, Bobby Orr is the greatest hockey player that never wore a helmet. I wish I got into hockey more. I don't know a single thing about it. Uh, it's the greatest sport in the history of sports. So that's all I can say about that. Um, who else did I meet? I, I met a ton of hockey players. Um... Mostly Bruins, obviously. Um, like some other good sport I'm like very mad about is baseball, and it doesn't mean baseball sucks. It just baseball is something that we don't have a major league team here, so like I never really understood it. You don't have the Albuquerque meth heads? Oh, could have fooled me. But uh, what's it called? Freaking! I went to like a Giants, uh, Giants versus the Rockies or something like that. It was wonderful. Like going to baseball games is a ton of fun. Yeah, going to, going to a baseball game is fun. Um, when I was younger, I used to really, really be into baseball. I no, I need to dump load first. <laughs> okay, now you can call her back. Okay, um, and I, but like I used, I remember like. 
going to the beach and like bring a little like AM FM radio and listening to like the call of the game as I'm just like chilling. Oh wow, we're underneath it? Oh, that's weird. It's a giant data vault we have to basically get into to get... So remember the data cells we've picked up? The little glowing things? This is a rack of them that we're gonna get and it's heavily guarded. They're always going to be up on the walls and stuff, and they're usually not very easy to see. But you'll notice it because it'll look like a like Kabuto, if you remember that Pokemon. Who's that Pokemon? It's Clefairy. Fuck. <laughs> that good point. Yeah, baseball games are fun, but the food is expensive as shit. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Well, like, I went to my first NFL game and baseball game at the same time, and like you went to two games. Wait, how did you? How did you see two the same games at the same time? Just okay. One was right after the other. Uh, it was so like because the baseball games are usually during the afternoon. So we saw the baseball <laughs> game and then we went to uh, an NFL game. Gotcha. Something just blew up up here. What the fuck was that? I blew up Oh, you're. Oh, you got all the way up here already? Oh, you probably zipped through no, a hole I or something. Shot him through something. I don't think I've ever I've met a lot of people who do, like, background work, but. Alright, found a fossil for you. Oh, yeah, hey, what's up? Can you maybe get out of the fucking way? Thank you. <laughs> Whoa. Um, I've met uh, Devin Townsend. He's uh, he he has uh, he's been in a couple of bands, but he's also done um, a lot of solo work or like a, like project work. But he got he actually got big. I mean, so you're um, are you into? Uh, like, how the fuck do you call it? The type of, like, the solo guitarist guys that'll do, um, like, shred guitar work. Um, no, like, like a, like a Joe Satriani. Okay, maybe not. I feel like you would have known that name right away. It's like, they're just solo guitarists. Um... But like they'll write songs, obviously. Like so, there's like Ingve Malmsteen, whatever. But uh, so Steve Vai is one of those uh, types, and he would have vocals in his songs. But um, he wouldn't do the vocals. He would find people to he'd find other vocalists, and that's how Devin Townsend kind of got his in, as he was a vocalist for Steve Vai back in like the early '90s. All right, so. Oh, that was the uh, Praetorion that was behind you, that was radiating your ass. Um, so this is... So this is the data rack we need to do. You'll see on the walls, there's the force field power cables. They go to basically what powers the uh, uh, the force fields. I just fell. This is going to hurt a lot. Oh, no, I'm okay. Um, so we'll go to this one first. So we basically have to uh, hack them so we can get the force field down, and then we basically have a boss fight against the defenses of this thing. No, no, we go, we go together. We we hack it. We hack one at a time. We I just blew up a repulsion target uh, turret. There's usually a lot of sniper turrets here. I'm just scouting up ahead, even though you're the scout. <laughs> I guess like the most like B-list celebrity that You gotta send Knox a Death Angel DVD a, snippet. Yeah, oh, I will, I will. Hall of Fame game? Ooh. Between one and two. Night Demon. Uh cast between Night what, what movie? What movie? I'm sorry. The Scooby Doo live action movie. What the fuck? Um, I, I think it was a very similar cast between the two, yes. Well, whichever one, like, 
there was six of them. I waited on them at work. So that was oh, really? Yeah. That's pretty cool, though. Well, something that's, like, I guess more common Many here is, like, Hank from Breaking Bad and stuff like that. Like, he, he used to come into my work and like, tip well all the time. Like, John Uncle Hank. They were, like, very... Like, John Jones and the cast of Breaking Bad, other than Brian Cranston and the other homeboy. Oh, Aaron Paul? Yeah, because they're, like... Very well known, so they... Them. Yeah. They're just, uh, they're always in my old work. I'm trying not to talk to myself until the more and more just around. Well, tell me what you used to do to say it. What, was it a chain, like... Was, I came in like a wrecking job. ball. I never hit so hard in love. All yeah, I wanted all was to break though, your walls. All you ever did was wreck me. Yeah, and you wrecked me. Wreck me. Uh, that sucks. I mean, fuck him. I hate him. <laughs> it, was, it, was called, it was called Elephant Bar and Restaurant. I have never fucking heard of that. Yeah, it was like a Las Vegas, like, California thing. Um, it used to be a really big chain. And, uh, yeah, the company... <laughs> Tell me how you really feel. I can't sleep. I'm, I think I'm making my way up to you now. Okay. Yeah. I find a bunch of gold, so I'm going to pick this up. Yep. Who the fuck else have I met? Oh, you know who is cool? Even though it's he's like a mortal enemy of like my area of the world because of like patriots and whatnot, was Peyton Manning. He was actually pretty cool. Um, talked to them very briefly. I've met a lot of my teams, my football teams people, but like. I mean, yeah, I mean, athletes are athletes, so I'd say that counts. Yeah, I'm a. I was just. I, I don't know how, but I've just always been a Broncos fan. Satan, how dare you? <laughs> oh, okay. So I, I've met a. I've gone to Denver a couple of times. Yeah, that's. So Wheeler is uh, a Broncos fan. Even though he's, um, so he lives in Dallas, but uh, he's like, he's like, yeah, he's not a Cowboys fan at all. He's also not from Texas. I don't remember exactly where he's from. Maybe it is Colorado. I don't remember. But that's also where Fry's from. Yeah, she, uh, she told me she's from, I think, Pagosa or somewhere else. I can't remember. Yeah, no, she moved here. She moved to Massachusetts a while ago. I think she was she was going to school here, I believe. So just to be clear, did you meet Riot before Twitch? Yeah. And then you told her you streamed, and then she got on Twitch? Or like, oh, sorry, you were you were dumping shit. I'm sorry. Um, come back here. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were dumping shit. Um, yeah, no, I met her through going to different shows, because she likes black metal. Um... So I think I met her. So I met so two of my friends met her. I think at like one of the zombie marches, if I recall. And um, it's exactly what it sounds like. Everybody cosplays as different zombies and you march through the city. Um, no, it's it's it, dude. Pre COVID, it was fucking fun as hell. We have like fucking. It sounds so third world compared to New Mexico. What, the only activities that happens here. Are you, you done with robbed. Molly? Yeah, call her. You okay. get robbed yeah. or you get killed. Those are the Corpse first activities paid. that you can be part of if you move here to. You did the first ever zombie march forever ago? I don't know what like the first one was. Um, my first one was for Zombieland. When that, uh, I got to go to the premiere of Zombieland in Boston. It was cool. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, it sounds like you don't have much to do there. <laughs> Except for meth. Lots and lots of meth. Turns out, I'm not really a big meth guy. Uh, well that's probably a good thing. 
That is a sniper turret. That was scary. Yep. They just they happen to be going in the same direction, like the power cables, then they split off at the last second, which is interesting. Well, wow, there's a lot of fossils in this area. I just picked up three. Normally, I don't even go for the fossils because they're usually in just shitty locations. Where the f fuck did she go? Why are they over here? Right, this room is actually pretty small hey. for it. I did the for, uh, it was for Easter, I think. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Um, what else is I think? I was thinking some other people I've met. Um, because I also, like, I haven't done one in a while, but I've, I have done interviews before with bands. Um, usually, like, after their sets. One of my favorites was meeting, uh, John Keevil, who's the lead singer of a thrash band called Warbringer from California. And, um, so we talked for, like, it was like a half an hour about music and stuff and, like, recorded the interview. And then we, I shut the, the thing off, and then we started talking about just all sorts of random shit. And then the guy I was with just mentions, like, oh, yeah, like, I've been really into playing StarCraft 2 since it dropped. And he was like, you guys want to see some shit? And he fucking whipped out his gaming laptop and started showing us, like, recordings of how he fucking Zerg rushes people. And I was like, oh, my God, this is so good. Um, did, you, did you run ahead? You did. Do you, uh, please come back when you're done with what you're doing, because we have to hack this thing. I was getting some nitro, so we could call I need some of that computer computer yeah. Magic. yeah. All right, I'm calling down the hacking pod now. Let's see where it goes. Don't tell me it's back there. Damn it! It's exactly where you just were. What a shitty fucking spot, dude. I gotta drill down to that. I'm gonna call the supply drop in the Good call. Patrol bot. I missed the shot. There we go. Don't go all the way. Sorry. <laughs> Another patrol bot. We can hack it. <laughs> wow, it's aggressive. Dude, how many patrol bots are here? Well, he's dead. Fucking loot bugs. Get out of the goddamn way. Yeah, this is might be the one of the instances where ready. I might start killing him. <laughs> I mean, I get it. I'm not mad about it. Um, shit, who else have I met that was chill? Oh, you know who was fucking so cool? Was, um, alright, so, I don't know, maybe this, maybe this predates you, but maybe Tree will remember it? Oh, that's so, I gotta drill this out a bit. There we go. You don't know that, yeah, we're good. Um, do you remember the old Reebok office linebacker commercials with Terry Tate? So I met I met Terry Tate. He was part of that pro am. 
he was fucking hilarious. Um, but yeah, his uh, his that whole thing was like he was just a linebacker in an office building that would like make sure you were following the rules of like typical office etiquette. Otherwise, he'd tackle the fuck out of you. It's so, like people would steal something, steal someone's lunch out of the fucking fridge. You just tackle them. So when we activate this one here, um, we just have to defend it from a swarm. Are we defending this one or the one on the other? You're defending the hacking pod. See, it's got the start button on it. We have almost a thousand gold. What the? F oh, right, I forgot. We had pots of gold. Thousand gold. My word. Right, that's a dead end. No, it's not. We're rich. You are floating. I. Oh, good save! I saw that. <laughs> My scout, dude. That falls all the time. <laughs> it only took you, you know, a few weeks to figure it out, but you're there. You're the finest miner I've ever worked with. We're rich. We're rich. We're rich. We're rich. We're rich. Doing a bang up job, mate. We're, We're rich. rich. <laughs> So good. Is it, worth, is it worth that same amount? Um, I don't know how much it's worth. I just want to... What else is in this fucking room over here? I, should I really want to go in here? Oh! It's a big circle! Okay. Never mind. The other one may be down there, though. Let's just focus on this one for now, then. Alright, I... Fitting on the Huh? Where are you? We're rich. Uh, I'm at the oh, hi. Um, alright. Alright, are we ready? Okay. What the? Get up here. Pizza time. <laughs> Pizza time. Bam ba dam dam ba bam bam ba dam bam ba bam Oh here we go. <laughs> You're just on the fucking ceiling. Like yeah, no big deal. Patrol bot somewhere? Oh hi bud. There's a hole over here, that's why shit. Shredder. Restart button. Restarted. Nice. Alright, so that's one down. Well, yeah, we still... We still have a whole nother thing to go to, dude. Like, we'll, we'll get them. I'm taking some of the ammo. Just being a dummy. We 
could go through here for the loot, right? Um, I think I have to go down this way. Oh, I just tagged Nitra by accident. That's cool. I mean, I think it's this way. Let me check my map. Um, yeah, it might be, because we haven't been down here yet. The map was empty. Yeah, I see turrets over here. Yeah, and we're following the, the power cables on the ceiling there, too. Ow. Are the other turrets around here? Oh, there it is. Another sniper turret. Eric Cube over there. Got one fossil up there. Random pieces of humanite just sitting there. Okay. Oh, because this thing landed on humanite or something. I'm just going to call down the hacking pod just so it's ready. I'll go get that Eric Cube out of there. Or at least try. Fuck. Come on. Alright. Where's Molly? There she is. Boom. The shredders. Oh, never mind. They turned and attacked me. Thank you. Oh, this one's not that bad. It's right over here. That's good. I'm gonna drill some of this out. Didn't you already beat it on the hardest difficulty? The hardest difficulty that I could. Or oh, did I unlock another one after? Oh, there you go. That's one way to get raged. <laughs> Dude, these fucking patrol I I, bots. I think I could beat the majority of the campaign about fighting those warrior things. What are they called? The slayers. No, they're the, the marauders. The marauders, oh my god. That's what it was. I hate those things. Yeah, they're they're pretty rage inducing. Oh, uh, have a good night, Tree. Thanks for dropping in, dude. Ah! Look at that and tell me if it's something important or if it's just a swarm nest. That's a swarm nest. It's past your expiration date. It's aggressive. Yeah, I don't think they have missions with rival presence on for oil refineries, and that's why. I think we just, yeah, we just need one more. So whatever the one, the one you're grabbing will do it. <laughs> nice fucking shot, Kobe. Um, almost. I just grabbed the other pieces of gold that I found down here. Um, oh, you already got, oh, I didn't realize there was two fossils in here. Cool, so the fossils are done. Um, we have over 400 nitrous, so I'm dropping one here. And we go ahead and, yeah, we can start it, yep. Yeah, I mean, we had to dig that out, because otherwise it would have been really pain in the ass. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's great. 
<laughs> he has the backwards like mining cap on. My disappointment is if... immeasurable. <laughs> and my day is ruined. Another night no invite, the betrayal of man. Dude, just jump in! Jesus. My day is ruined. Being sarcastic, love you, so love you too, TV Spore. Play Alien Isolation. I played it last year. Um, it's a good game. It can get pretty difficult, even on like like on normal difficulties, just because the AI is a little. Sketchball, but um, the st it's a good story. Um, it does a good job of, of scaring you a little every once in a while, but otherwise, it's just trying to be stealthy. Um, you know, I think it's it's a good. I mean, I got the game for free from I think it was an Epic Games giveaway at one point. Um, but most of the time, you can find it on sale for whatever price, and it's usually worth whatever sale it's on. Sick. All right. Hard grind, huh? Uh, you can follow me. I'm glad you understand the map because literally every part of the map looks exactly the same. Well, I mean, these types of like as you play different mission types on a multitude of occasions, you start understanding like how they're kind of built in like a formulaic way. But even sometimes, dude, you'll you'll get a map and just be like, "What the fuck is this?" Like I've I've had that before. Let's see. So I get to go. We came from here, right? Yes. I just have to get up there. Some Skyrim jumping. Here we go. So it's a good thing we have a ton of nitra. Um, what we're gonna do? Um, Don't don't kill it all the way. I like how it rolled downhill for another fucking fifty feet. Um. Oh shit. Oh, the guy who made up all that shit. You said American sniper. I says, oh, the guy who made up all that shit. Oh yeah. Yeah, the book he wrote, a ton of it is, a ton of it's fabricated. <laughs> Alright, oh yeah, so before we do that, um, I'm just going to set up a few supply drops. Just, yeah, this is, so what's going to happen is, um, there is, so you can see the triangle in the middle here. It, you'll see the corners that are kind of like have like the orange light emanating from them, the top corners. Those are gonna stick up. Uh, they're gonna stick up and uh, you have to shoot them. Um, and then, oh, let me get this fucking hallway drilled out so I can well, kind once, of escape. Once the horse builds down, I can just get on top of the cube and shoot him with my shotgun. Um, so, the other problem with that is Sometimes it'll it'll launch like it'll kick off like this zap. It zaps the entire area. Um, so I don't know if you can get all the way up there. I mean, it's worth a shot. It's also going to be spinning. So what happens after you after all of those are um, the corners are defeated? There's going to be an opening on one of the sides. You'll hear like this like almost like music play, and there'll be a red light emanating from it. You have to shoot inside of it. It's only open for a few seconds, and it moves around a couple times. Here's the kicker. Outside of the of this area being electrified at times, you see the little, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, you see the octagons sitting here? There's a few of them. Uh, yeah. So those, and randomly throughout this area, giant mechanical tentacles are going to come out and launch, like, missiles at you. 
yeah, this is it's a pretty aggressive um, go at it, but it's it's pretty fun. Um, and just oh, you know what? Just so I can be. I can't pet these things, but these things are cool. Yeah, you can ride them, the silicon harvesters or whatever. All right, so that's not good. That's not what I wanted to do there at all. Okay. Um, shit. So there's only one way down. But what I'll do, I'm going to drop the last resupply. Um, yeah, and it's going to be behind a, kind of behind a wall, just so you can kind of hide back here. There's, there's another one up there that's like that, too. Just so that it's like you can hide from the shit. Alright, I'm going to come back up here. Alright. So that's... Yeah, we only have 14 extra left. Okay. So we're good to go. So, um... Alright. We take these batteries out now. Alright. Here we go. Yep, shoot the corners. When they pop open. There you go. Oh, maybe not. There. Ah! Alright, they launch out at you too, I forgot about that. Hey, this is like a whole fucking thing here. I told ya! You never listen to me. Well, I look out for the propulsion cannon stuff too. Forget about that. Yeah. I want to dodge those like a plain pizza. I forgot it. So the issue is, is I can get on top of it, but I can't really shoot them. Yeah, those bastards can still get you too. Oh, opened him up. Oh, it's right in front of me. Alright. He closed up. He went to another side. Shit, that's on the other side. Fuck. Oh, God. Alright, we pretty much... Yeah, we got rid of one third of them. So that's good. Alright, uh, here come the patrol bots and the explosive bombs. I forgot about the bombs. Yeah, this thing's pretty aggressive. Alright, here we go. No, don't shoot me, I'm your friend. fucking bombs at the same time. Damn, forget about that. I don't usually play these missions often because when you play solo, it's very difficult. Got him. Oh, there's the opening. Oh, we closed it really quick. Other side. See the red light on the wall? That's how you can tell where the opening is. Alright. Two thirds. Wait, is it really? 
Shredders are out. Oh my god. You didn't change it again. Uh, you're gonna go down. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. Oh, it's terrible timing. Literally the worst. I was actually fine, but I, uh, I greeted and went for the re when I shouldn't have. Yeah, go for the resupply that's behind the walls, like I set up. I put these out here for, like, quick cover. Those goddamn patrol bots, dude. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, I'm just getting a resupply because that was out of secondary. I, I got it. Okay. It's gonna update, yep. Right next to us. Got him. Come on, baby. Oh, are you serious? There's a Simidium! Oh, it opened, it opened, it opened. Got it. Fuck yeah. Nope. It just falls open. And then... Here it comes. <laughs> okay, it does explode, I forgot about that. So that was the ca that thing was the caretaker, and now it opens up. And inside the data rack. I, I ain't doing uh, something, by the way. Data rack is hard. See, so yeah, I just give that to Molly. Getting and then we can get the fuck out of here. I'm pretty sure. Do you need uh, resupplies, or are you good? Yep. Okay. Where is it gonna be? I should oh. change that up. There's one of Kiwi just hysterically laughing and almost crying. Oh, back, it's over near one of the uh, janitors we took out. What is all this? Oh, what? Come here, come here, Molly. Oh, shit. Pick up all this gold. Oh, shit, I gotta drill down. Fuck. Oh, I got it, I got it. I just got lost, so I just drilled to meet up with you guys. What the fuck was that? Come on, here we go. Let's go. Mission assignment completed, sir. Hey, you want to do something kind of fun today? 
Is this has this not been fun? No, no, I'm saying like I, I have something fun to do when it's done. I mean, I was probably gonna wrap up because it's almost one in the morning here. Okay, so is this your last? That was your last? I think so. But why? What did you have in mind? Let's let's raid the same person. I don't even know who the hell's on. I'm gonna assume you're gonna say RK or Kiwi. No, literally anyone who you wanna. Uh. Are we going to Amaranth? We're going to Amaranth. We're not going to fucking Amaranth. <laughs> fucking goddamn simp. <laughs> oh, I said the bad word. Um. Shit, I thought I was level 40. I was going to have three scripts, but nope. Um, so yeah, your mission assignment's done. Just come over to the assignment board really quick. I want to see what you have now. What do you have in there? License upgrade, uh, the plasma carbine, company benefits. What the hell is company benefits? Is that the mi Is that the mining thing? Oh, it's the it's the mineral trading network. Now, don't bother with that. We'll deal with that later. Um, so I, I only have license upgrades then. Yeah, j get, yeah. Do the license upgrades then. Get all your weapons unlocked. Um, all right, cool. Um, let's see. Let's see. Um, I'm going to disband the team. So sorry, you're about to get kicked. Um. You don't have to alt F for it, Jesus. Let's see, who's on? Besides me. And you. Um I have RK and Heavy. RK's playing Alien Isolation, Heavy's playing Destiny 2. Um Or we could raid G Rope. He's playing Tiny Tina's Wonder something or other. Either one of those, the only other person I have that we can raid, if you're interested, is QB Smash. He's that guy who raided me. He's playing with Cry or something, but... Oh, yeah, he's, ra yeah, he's raided you a few times, huh? Yeah, he has. I, yeah, why don't we return the favor? How do you spell his name? QB underscore Smash? Exactly. And he's playing Pyre? Yep. Okay. Cool. Um, I'm, I'm going to start the raid and say goodbye to everybody, and I'll talk to you later. Sounds good, my dude. Thank you so much for hanging, and um, we'll keep playing. Because you're, I think you were like level 17, so you only have like you have like eight more to go. So we're getting there. Yeah, I have a ton of fun, so um, I guess we'll all just... Should we raid at the same time? Does it matter, or should we just say bye? I don't know. I mean, I'm just going to say goodbye to my chat and then probably head over. So it will be yeah, pretty I'll close. Do, I'll, yeah, we'll do the same thing. Okay, okay. All right. I'll talk to you later, man. Bye. All right, everybody. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Sorry about the weird issues with the mic. I'm going to have to work on that. Um, hope we can figure it out and make it sound not only back to normal, but even better. But anyways, we're going to go uh, raid QB Smash. He has raided Noxler a few times. Um... So I want, so I figured it's a nice way to kind of send the love back over. So, uh, QB Smash is playing Pyre. We're going to go ahead and start the raid countdown going. Uh, so if you can go over and uh, uh, give some love to QB Smash. Hit him with the fall if you haven't. I know I haven't. Uh, but uh, I think it'd be super cool. Um just going to give some of that jug mob love out to some other streamers out there and uh i'll probably be back tomorrow i think we're gonna go back to some uh typical indie horror stuff uh just been very much back in the deep rock galactic mode and i wanted to have some fun with it especially with trying to get noxler promoted to do some deep dives and some other shit um that's all i got it's gonna be mon it's now officially monday on the east coast so I hope you all have a lovely Monday, and uh, hopefully you don't get a case of them. That's all I got. See ya.